Today I'll show you how to trim out an inside corner with leather. This is something you'll run into once in a while with chairs and upholstery. It's pretty easy to trim out an outside corner, but how do you trim out an inside corner? The technique is called a Y cut and we'll quickly show it. Stick around. The basic technique here is a Y cut and it'll allow you to trim out those inside corners so there's no visible edges on your seat frame. We'll take a little closer look at how to do that. So we're starting out with a seat frame here that has a jute webbing base on the underside and we're going to add a piece of one inch foam as our first layer of padding and then it'll be trimmed out with this leather and the center of it's actually fabric cover for this seat frame. And what we're concerned with today is trimming out these inside corners. So you'll see it on seat frames, but you'll also run into that same detail on armchairs and dining chairs for the finished upholstery. So this is a good technique to understand. We'll start by adding this one inch of foam. And this has to be in position before you trim things out because once that's locked in, the jute webbing on the bottom prevents you from retrieving it any other way. So this is the front of the seat frame and we've marked that underneath for reference, but basically just center this cover over the frame and we'll begin tacking that in place with 3 8 inch staples. Then turn it around to work the back side of the frame and just start drawing some of the tension out as you attach that cover. So you'll notice we're not drawing this to the underside, it's just attached on the edge and that's because there's a wooden cleat that this frame sits on in the large armchair that we're building. And so that just gives a nice bearing surface for this wood to lay right on the cleat with no upholstery in the way. And just keep working it towards the corner, just drawing the slack out as you go. This is a lot like just doing a basic dining room slip seat. And we'll have a look where our inside corner is and you can continue stapling out to this first corner. So here we've got our inside corner and the idea is we want to tuck this leather down so that it looks nice on the top and it covers most of the raw wood on the inside corner. Of course this will be up against the leg of the chair so it's really not visible, but we want to trim it out as neatly as possible. And to do that, these leather pins are nice, but just extend your line so you can see a rough cut line here. And this would be as if there was just a single corner on your project. From there, come out to the corner, and that's going to be essentially our Y cut. So we'll just cut to the line and begin tacking the little triangles down to close in that inside corner. I'm going to stop just short of that corner. That then leaves you with these two side flaps and a triangular flap coming down from the top. I'll just tape one out of the way so you can see a little bit of what I'm doing. We want to start with one of the side flaps and you'll draw that into the corner and get a staple low right in here. We'll do that on the other side as well, and then the final step is to fold down that triangle and trim away any excess with a razor knife. And we'll make an initial trim up at an angle like so. Now we'll work on finessing this little triangle dog ear downward, and as we do so, we'll trim away the excess from these tails that we started with. Use the shaft of a screwdriver to help form that shape that that dog ear needs to take to meet the inside corner. Techniques you can do to increase the softness and pliability of the leather are to use a heat gun to soften it, or you can actually wet the leather. Press this down a little bit more, and then we'll get a couple staples to hold that in place. And just get a hold of the dog ear with some small needle nose pliers and just stretch that into position until you like it and try to get a shot right about here. Right like that. 
So now we've got good coverage here on the inside corner. And if there's any overlap between these little tails that we wrapped around and the dog ear, we'll just run a razor knife right in there and pull out the little scrap. I really like these little disposable safety razors. They just seem like they're sharper and better for cutting leather than a standard utility knife. The final step on this is to hammer out any bulkiness in the leather. And luckily leather responds really well to hammering. I use a tack hammer in the tight inside corner areas or just a larger flatter hammer to flatten and soften out the seams. So that'll have a nice appearance from the show face. The inside corner will be up against the leg. Any upholsterer knows you got to kind of be good at Tetris to get these frames in a chair. The way this one has to go in is typical. You orient it at an angle and then lift the front side up to land on that back cleat before dropping things in place. And the result is a nicely trimmed out seat frame. So even if the loose cushion lifts up a bit in regular use, everything will have a finished appearance. All right, guys, there's the inside scoop on trimming out inside corners with leather. I'll put some resources for you down in the description box, including videos that I think are relevant to this topic, as well as links to some of my favorite upholstery tools. Do remember to subscribe to the Thoughtful Woodworker channel. And hey, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Not if, but why. Why should you learn the why technique? I feel better. I don't know about you, but I feel better. Ooh.